<laughs> what is this? I don't know what it is. I don't know what these are. <laughs> don't make me go in here. I'm Rebecca Wright, and this is Thrifting in Austin, Texas. I'm a clothing designer and textile artist, and I'm gonna take you to some of my favorite places around town. Let's go. We're here at Treasure City Thrift, and this thrift store is doing so much for our community. Let's go inside and check it out. Hey, Rebecca, welcome to Treasure City Thrift. Treasure City Thrift is such an important thrift store in Austin because not only do y'all have amazing finds, but you also do a lot for our community here in Austin. We started in 2006, and we're a workers' collective thrift store. So that means everybody who works here is also part owner. We run on consensus and we have meetings where we discuss our future and the future of the store. We also um, set aside items for our unhoused friends. You know, usually like weather appropriate items like in the winter coats and That's awesome. um, sweatshirts, summer shorts and t-shirts and we put them out for free. We also have this thing called the Really Really Free Market. We just bring out everything in the store that has been here for three months that hasn't been sold. Okay. But also, as we're processing clothing, if there's like anything wrong with it, it's still wearable, but we can't sell it, right? Um, we put it here. And then all of this goes out to the public for free. I love that y'all are just trying to use everything possible that's getting donated to you in the best way possible. Is there anything specific you think I should check out while I'm shopping? We do have a fabric section that's under craft over there. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I always look for vintage patterns whenever I'm thrifting. You can find really inspiring designs in vintage patterns. So you could take like the arm and the bodice from something and then add a skirt. What I'm looking at are just like the basics of the design, like this flutter sleeve, this like high bustier kind of top. Old patterns can teach you so many amazing sewing techniques. Love this tapestry material. This is something I would definitely use for a corset or some type of like upcycling project. I love these 70s like really vibrant colors. Oh, ho, 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 ho. what is this? This would give like a dress or something like so much cool detail. And like, this is something you can't buy new. Like this is something like so uniquely vintage and thrifted that you just have to get it. When it's just a dollar, I'm gonna grab all of these. How many overalls do I need? <laughs> all of them. Forever, I felt like an adult toddler when I wore overalls and I didn't think it suited me, but I've been leaning into it more lately because it's so comfortable. I get it now. Look at this. Definitely a vintage label, but we're gonna have to snag this because this color, so good. $12, yes, we can. I would say that this is definitely the most affordable thrift store in Austin. The rise of popularity in thrifting, I think a lot of stores have kind of caught on to that, like the more mainstream ones. And that's why I think places like this are so important to keep that um, true affordability alive in our city. I think I'm ready to check out. This is so cute. I love all the amazing things I found today. This month, all the blue tags are half off. Deals on deals, love it. Thank you. have a you. beautiful day. Yeah, you too. Next stop, Thrift Town, a store that's been in Austin for 40 years. I love it in here because there's so much stuff and it gives you so much variety to dig through and decide what you like. That's the magic of tree. You never know what you're going to get, but you always know that you're getting a treasure. 
Okay, this is the section I was looking for. Little 90s, a lot of the times you can find 100% silk camisoles. Um, silk is always something I love to find thrifting because it's um, a, a very luxurious material and it's really fun to do um, tie-dye projects with, like silk and cotton pieces. Check the tags inside if you're not sure if it's silk. A lot of the times it'll be on the side seam here. Dang, all right, nothing today. That's pretty cute though. I love this like vintage lace slip. I'm thinking about current trends that are reflecting vintage. I mean, fashion is just repeating trends and things. Like when I see something like this, I'm seeing like the vintage lace, black something really easy to style. I think this would look great with one of my little fuzzy corsets and some tall boots. Be kind of chic. Ruching has been something that I'm seeing a lot of lately. We actually saw this sleeve on one of my tops at my store because I love this peasant 70s elastic puffy sleeve, like very whimsical. I always look for vintage overalls, like old Levi's. New denim has a lot of stretch to it. It's really blended with a lot of plastics and spandexes and things. I love the old denim because it's 100% cotton. It was like woven on a loom. It just has like this really cool Americana history, which is what I'm very nerdy about. <laughs> I love the Austin thrift scene because it's really uh, a reflection of the people who live here. And there's like a really big music and nightlife scene here. So I feel like you find really interesting pieces when you're thrifting. I think the thrift stores also know their customers here really well and know that we're looking for interesting and unique stuff so they don't hold back when they're putting things out or when they're seeing things come through. Like they put the fun pieces out there. They've kind of caught on to like this trend of Austin people looking to just kind of clothing swap almost like using the thrift stores. I love swooping through the shoes and just taking a brief look at what they have. Sometimes people try to like hide things too, you know, the good stuff, come back for it. So it's good to look at everything. <laughs> look at these hamburgers. Hamburgers, oh my gosh. <laughs> these are quite the gems. I am obsessed. We love these. That's a special thrift find right there. Like, didn't even know it existed. The athletic wear section of the thrift store, because it's something that's so popular and big now, is just full of amazing brands and lightly used workout wear. There are things in here that are just barely even used and I think are still worth wearing and are gonna perform really well still. I love this hot pink mossy oak. I love a camo, a little bit tacky. I love the realistic like twigs and leaves. And then it's also in my color palette. I don't know why I love this, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it to my pile. Let's go over to the blankets, the bed sheets, the house hold fabrics. This is where I find a lot of really great stuff to use for sewing projects. I'm gonna kind of look for cotton sheets. Um, it doesn't even have to be special. White is great. In Austin, we do not have fabric stores like they do in LA or New York. There's only just like a couple places to buy material. So if you need something quick, it's honestly so much easier to go to the thrift store. It's a good cycle, life cycle of things. The more we're all shopping at thrift stores, the more the money is circulating to keep these places going. It really is the most environmental way to buy things. If you're wanting something new, like, this is the only way to like not harm the environment, I would say, is to like keep it cycling into thrift stores. Okay, I don't even know what this is, <laughs> but I love it. It has elements that I would use for making something else. Vintage lace, this fun fruit print, pre-made stuff can like save you a lot of time and money. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm also noticing it might have a sister. I don't know what these are. <laughs> don't make me go in here. <laughs> Claustrophobic. Okay, so I, obviously we have to have both of them. There's possibly one more thing that I need to look at at the cash register. I saw it coming in and I just need one more look to make sure I don't need it for a project. This just caught my eye when we walked in. They're like these 
fake flower like rosettes, very like high camp to me as I'm like in my imagination. Is this something I could like sew onto something else? But it'd be maybe a really interesting headpiece. They also remind me of a lot of the props that we have um, for Psychic Outlaw that we use to decorate our pop-up booths. So we need these. Amazing, thank you so much. You too, bye. That was awesome, on to the next. Hey Rebecca, welcome to Austin Pets Alive. I am so happy to be here today. Austin Pets Live truly is an Austin icon. It has the hearts of Austin because we know that when we're donating here, we're also doing something good for the community and the animals. Austin Pets Live is an animal welfare organization and 100% of our proceeds from our thrift stores go towards funding Austin Pets Live's life-saving mission. Since 2008, we have saved over 100,000 animals. We're here at the Burnett location. What makes this spot really special? Community loves to donate a lot of designer, vintage clothing, and we get a lot of great knickknacks, trinkets, and decor. Is there any part of the store that you think I should check out? Yeah, let me show you our vintage dresses over here. I think if you're overwhelmed by thrifting and just the amount of clothes that you're gonna possibly have to dig through to find that special piece, this would be a really great place to visit because they have it so well organized. They get enough quality pieces that they can curate a rack for you. In and out, really easy. For me, when I'm looking for vintage, I am looking for something I've never seen before. I'm looking for something that has handmade quality to it, but also like couture designer quality in the way that it's made. So I don't just look at the outside of a piece, I will also turn it inside out and look at the construction. I love the vintage lingerie because it tends to be less picked over. There's a lot of current trends happening right now that are inspired by lingerie. So I feel like you can find really great pieces. This could be 100% silk and it is, okay. It's 100% silk, so I definitely wanna take this. I love to take silk and cotton pieces, any natural fibers that I'm finding and do um, fun tie-dye projects with them. Wow, this is exactly what I was talking about when I was telling you about all the tie-dye silk that I like to do. Someone else already did this. Don't forget to look up in places like this. Oh, so good. This baby's only $30. Um, this is real leather. Feels like real cowhide to me. This is very sick, Gala. This is actually a Texas brand bag. I'm gonna use this so much. love finding sterling silver gold, mostly because that's what I like to wear, but also I love just like an extremely kitschy handmade piece. Like these little cat earrings are very like folk art to me, very like 90s teacher. And I wanna take a look at those. Can I also see that little poodle charm? <laughs> so adorable. Could I also see this belt? It's cool to find accessories to style with for like photo shoots to kind of give my handmade clothes that kind of more authentic vintage look. Guessing this was probably some type of like rodeo. Where? I actually don't know. Republic of Argentina. This is where cowboys came from. I think that's really special. just for life, I find I need lots of belts. <laughs> a belt is just like a really easy way to kind of sass up an outfit. <laughs> but how great would this look with our black slip skirt that we found earlier in a corset? I can just see this like being the styling moment for a lot of things that we found today. 
This store has a really great selection of luxury bags. They have a lot of really great handbags and it's also really easy to shop with the way that they have everything displayed and organized and amazing deals. This one's $18. That's nice. Love a structured little bag. Yay, thank you. You too. What an awesome last stop. I can't wait to get these home. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Handmade for more videos just like this.